Hello children, how are you all? Are you enjoying this lockdown? Okay. This is your new English teacher Archie ma'am and I'm here to give a break to your enjoyment and let's see how I can make learning more interesting and enjoying for you. Okay? All right. So first we'll do a quick recap of what you have learned in your earlier lessons which will help you to connect your earlier lessons with the lessons which you are going to go about from now. In, in your last class, you have learned about stories about the things you know around you, okay? How to write instructions, poems by famous poets, rhymes about places and people we know, tales from around the world, stories by famous writers, things under the sea, all kinds of creatures. You have also learned about the alphabets, syllables, tips for spelling, long and short vowels, common words, compound words, prefixes, suffixes, punctuation marks, capital letter, speech marks, sentences and tense. Today we will learn about stories about children like you will learn about stories of ordinary days. You will get to learn about characters and the settings in today's class. At the end you will have an idea how a story goes like and you will learn to write a story of your own. You will eventually know how to make your reading more interesting. That is the idea. Okay. So uh, let's have a look how a story goes about. As I said a story will have various settings. Okay. Let me give you an example. Look here. This is a setting. Okay. What can you see here? The guitar, tabla, the synthesizer and a xylophone. So these are all musical instruments. Okay. Can you think of any story? Think about it. I'll come to it at the end of the chat. At the end of today's lesson, I'll ask you. Okay. So Today you will also learn about, you know, nouns, verbs, adjectives and dialogues in a story. Hmm? In a story, you can have various settings. You can also have uh, various stories which talk about various settings like marketplace, say the airport, the beach, a classroom or a forest. Okay. Just imagine the settings, how can the settings go like? Okay. Think about a classroom. How many times have you visited the classroom? Okay. What have you done there? Did anything interesting happen to you out there? Okay. Think about this all. And also list five nouns, verbs and adjectives you can find in that setting. Say if it's a classroom, I'll give an example. There's a desk. There's a chair, there's a chalk, there's a duster. All these are nouns, okay? List out the adjectives. Small, big, pretty, dirty, clean. These are all adjectives, okay? These are a few examples. Now here we'll talk about stories that have settings which again give a description of or an idea of the place, okay? The description can be in terms of the time, Say, for example, when Joe was a little boy, when Joe was a little boy, okay, it gives you a description of the time. It can also give you a description of the weather, say a noisy thunderstorm, okay. So, you choose a setting, talk about a story or adventure that can happen out there, okay. Do you know author Roald Dahl, he used to write uh, stories for children. He used so many settings in his story and he used to write them in his shed, in his back garden, okay? Now, I will give you an example of a story about an ordinary day. This is an ordinary boy, okay? Say his name is Michael. So, this ordinary boy, Michael, gets up from his ordinary sleep, he has his ordinary dreams, he gets up from his ordinary bed, 
goes up and has an ordinary wash then goes for an ordinary breakfast after that he wears ordinary clothes and goes to his ordinary mummy he kisses his mummy goodbye and goes off to his ordinary school like any other day okay now think about how interesting could have the opening been in this story how interesting you can make the opening of, of a story okay so that the readers remain glued to it okay an opening of a story is very important okay it can catch your attention it may get you hooked to a story that then and there itself what does an author want you to know from a story is depicted in the opening itself what might happen in the story what kind of a story all these are hidden in the beginning of a story so the in order to write the beginning of a story you need to have certain uh, guidelines about the story okay so you talk about the beginning of a story with your friend okay any story you can think about talk about it with your friend how interesting you can make it okay in the story of uh, as i said michael an ordinary boy uh, what happens before uh, he wakes up from his you know he wakes up what happens before he wears his ordinary clothes what happens after he kisses his mom goodbye okay think about this you in this in a story there are so many things you can learn say in this ordinary uh, school boy story you can look for the letter o in the first sentence okay and what are the different pronunciations of the of this letter say for example i take this word clothes here there are two vowels o and e how is o pronounced here clothes so it's a long pronunciation okay you can also have a look at the word ordinary how many syllables are there in this word now how to count the syllables simple way you have to see how many times your jaw is dropping for example the word ordinary o d n a r y four times or you can also uh, do it this way clap or d n a r y four times so both ways it's coming four times so in this word there are four four syllables there or d n a r y okay you can also compare words like one and once and see how it's pronounced for one and once it has the same pronunciation o oh. okay so what have we learned today what is a story how interesting uh, the setting of a story can be what can you derive out of it okay what can you extract from a from a setting how can you make your own story how can you make the reading more interesting to a re reader and you have also learned about nouns verbs adjectives that are you can have in a setting okay you have learned about how to narrate an ordinary story you have also learned about how to make the beginning of a story catchy to the readers okay so let as i said i'll break your enjoyment and i'll try to make the reading this uh, studying more interesting and enjoying to you so one enjoyable task let me give an enjoyable task think about a setting okay think about a setting you just as as i've shown you as i've given you an example uh, arrange objects around you in a similar way take a picture and write write a story write the summary of the story 
and the nouns, the verbs and adjectives about it. Okay. So that's your task till we meet again. Okay. Thank you.